Hello! In this video, we will explain the process of configuring seven sensors in the Kehwa Tech Data Logger, eManager Pro Data Logger. First, we need to connect the Iridian sensor and the externally connected sensors. Before making the connections, let's get to know our sensors. Our product set consists of the main sensor, which is the Iridian sensor, and the externally connectable sensors, which are the ambient temperature sensor, the model temperature sensor, the wind speed sensor, the wind direction sensor, and the relative humidity sensor. Connectors that connect external sensors have different pin numbers. Therefore, there is no chance of making a wrong connection. By following the pin numbers, we connect the external sensors one by one to the irradiant sensor box. After the connection of the external sensors is completed, a 3-meter cable is used for communication and power supply of the irradiant sensor. This cable is sent to our customers with the 7 sensors set. Brown, white, yellow, and green wires on the open end of this cable are connected to the power supply and the data logger. Brown wire connects to the power supply plus and white wire connects to the power supply minus. Seven sensors worked with 12 to 30 volt DC and the recommended voltage value is 24 volt DC. The green wire of the cable of the sensor box which refers to RS485A or data plus is connected to port 4851 or A of Kehwatek eManager Pro and yellow wire of the cable from the sensor box which refers to RS485B or data minus is connected to the port 4851 or B of Kehwatek eManager Pro. For the same operation, the other ports 4852 can be selected instead of 4851. In case where more than one device is connected to the COM port you have connected the 7 sensor to, device IDs must be different, while the baud rate and parity values must be the same. When you want to change the sensor ID, you can change it by using the 7 sensor configuration tool. To reach the eManager Pro IP address, eManager Pro and your computer must be connected to the same network. Therefore, the LAN ports of the computer and eManager Pro are connected to the network ports of the router. Then, go to the management page of the router and check the Internet Host list to get the eManager Pro IP address. This IP address is the IP address assigned to eManager Pro by the router. In order to the router to be able to assign an IP address to the eManager Pro, the router's automatic assignment, DHCP, must be enabled. After learning the eManager Pro's IP address, the eManager Pro IP address is entered in the browser search bar to access the configuration interface. In the Smart Device Setting section of the screen that appears, the port where the 7 sensor is connected must be activated. The values to be entered for the ports to be activated are as follows. Model code 9001, protocol code 2, and for protocol version 1. Then the port to which the 7 box is connected to is selected. After the values are entered correctly, the Save button is clicked. To log in the monitoring system, go to www.energy.kehwa.com. 
and enter the username and password to log in the system. After logging in, click on Operation and Maintenance MGR from the tab User MGR. Then, click the Add button. The relevant field is selected and the email address is entered. Click the Save and Continue Creating the Plans button. Then, the field information is filled in the relevant boxes. After that, click on Save and Continue Electricity Price Setting button. Click the Edit button to make adjustments regarding the electricity fee. After the settings are made, click the Save and Continue Adding Devices button. Fill in the information on the screen that appears. Click the Save button. Check the information on the next screen and select the Confirm option. Then, the Monitoring Center tab is opened and the monitoring item is selected. From the tab on the left, the site where the sensor box is installed is selected and the relevant field is selected on the screen that opens. After all settings are made, Click in the box containing the eManager Pro serial number in the Inverter Details section below on the screen that opens. Meteorological data from seven sensors can be viewed in the Device Data section. Thank you for watching.